and predicates in the sentence. You know, last week we talked about the types of sentences. All right. Who can tell me or give me an example of one of the types of sentences that we talked about? Timothy. Imperative. Imperative. Good. Um, Shaki. Hemisphere. No. Kwame, help her out. Statement. Statement. Good. Amir. Questions. Questions. And one more. Atala. Exclamatory. Good job. Good job. Yeah, but the type of sentence is called exclamatory. Exclamatory. All right. And we also covered a few more pointers in regards to sentences. What do we not start a sentence with? And, and but, or, or, or. All right. Good job. And we always start our first letter of a sentence with what type of letter? Capital. Good. Good job. Great. Okay. So let's move on in our study of sentences and let's cover a new concept, which is um, <clears throat> the subjects. All right. Now, a subject tells what or whom the sentence is about. All right. So, for example, Alaska has cold, snowy winters. What or whom are we talking about? Alaska. Alaska. Good job. Now, keep in mind that the subject of a sentence can be one word or more than one word, like a group of words. So, when you're looking for the subject, you won't always have just one. Just one um word for the subject. Let's look at our, our next sentence. Many people enjoy dog sled races. So what would be our subject? Who are we talking about? Many, many, many. many people. Good job. Good job. Well, let's do one more. If I say Kwame is a famous racer. What is the subject of my sentence? Kwame. Kwame. Good job. If I said, Atala bought a new car yesterday. What is the subject? Atala. Okay. If I said, Sister Natalie and I are going to the mall. What is my subject? You, you, Sister, Natalie. Sister Natalie and I. Good job. Uh, one more. Um, Mm, let's see. The black dog got hit by the car. The dog? The dog? Or is it the black dog? Which one is it? The black dog. How many say the dog? How many say the black dog? <laughs> Which one is it? The dog. The dog. So if I have the black dog in a sentence, you're going to omit black? Um, you're going yeah. to leave out black? Yes. Why? Yes. Now what if I said the black dog got hit by the car while the white dog stayed on the sidewalk? Now if you say the dog, I don't know which one you're talking about, right? All right. So, any questions on subjects? Yeah, yeah. No? Mm -hmm. Everybody good? Yes, yeah, yeah. Great. Now, let's move on to predicates. Now, the predicate of a sentence tells us what the subject is or does. does. Good job. For example, Katie paints beautiful pictures. Now, our subject is what? Katie. Katie. So, what does she do? Paints beautiful pictures. Paints beautiful pictures. Good job. Now, just like we uh, mentioned with subjects, 
the predicate of a sentence can be one word or more. So if I said, Katie paints, if I say Katie paints, what is the subject of our sentence? Katie. The Katie. subject. Katie. Katie, because we're talking about what or whom the sentence is about. Is it about painting or is it about Katie? Katie. Katie. So what would be our predicate then? Paint. Paint, because it's telling us what the subject, who is Katie, what she does. She does what? Paint. Good job. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's do a few practice um, sentences. Well, um, the class needs money for a trip. The class needs money for a trip. So what is the subject? The class. Good job. And what is the predicate? Good job, Kwame. What was it again, Kwame? Needs money for the trip. Great, great. Um let's see. Miss Odom suggests a bake sale. Miss Odom suggests a bake sale. What would be our subject? Miss Odom. Good job. And the predicate would be? Bake sale. Not quite. What, it, what was my original sentence? A bake sale. Suggest a bake sale. You have to put all of that in there. Keep that in mind. It has to all be in there. All right? All right, let's do one more. Um, the children offer other ideas. The children offer other ideas. What is my subject? The children. And what is my predicate? Offer other ideas. Offer other ideas. Good job. I think you all are getting the hang of this. Let's do one more. Um, the play is very funny. The play is very funny. Um, who can give me the predicate? The predicate. Amira. No, it, it is very funny. Is very funny. I didn't have it in there. All right. And who can give me the subject? Atala. The play. Good job. I think you all have the hang of this. Any questions thus far? No, no. Yes. Okay. Do you have a question? Uh, okay. Oh, great. Good. So this is something that you all are familiar with, right? All right. Great. So we're going to work on a few of these for independent practice in just a few moments. But before we get into that, I want to talk about another concept, and that is compound sentences.